Lovely Aries, welcome to your reading for April 2024. Happy birthday to all my lovely Aries subscribers and followers. I wish you a very, very happy, prosperous, joyous birth year. May everything you desire uh, come to you. For those that are, have had a birthday and those that have yet to have a birthday, best wishes to you. My lovely Aries, this is a general reading for you. This is a reading for Aries sun rising and moon sign. If you would like to book a private reading with me that is specific to you, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book that reading from there. My lovely Aries, what am I getting with your channeled message? I'm just feeling, what am I getting? As I was meditating on your energy, I just, I, I just got this mess, very clear message of it's about seeing your plans through. You've got, you're filled with ideas, ambitions, plans. You know where you want to be. You know what you want to do. You're very, very good at, at coming up with those great ideas. It's about being steadfast. It's about being consistent. It's about seeing things through to the end. This year in particular, but, but April is going to be the beginning of that for you. It's about some things that you feel passionate about, having those wonderful ideas and plans of how you're going to be moving forward. There's changes that are coming. The best, the, the best is yet to come for you as it unfolds and I'm feeling like I want to take you through the year but it's laying down those plans and ideas and motivating others or motivating yourself but then also keeping that energy moving so that you can see that through to fruition see it through um, and watch it blossom watch it watch your plans bloom and that can be traveling it can be uh, promotion it can be uh, taking on a new form of study um, go a new you know starting some some study but also being consistent in in seeing it through to the end keeping that energy going it could be a new business it could be a, it, there's also movement you know it could um, uh, uh, someone's moving to a new property, a new house, a new state, a new place. So there's big changes coming here for you. So it's about keeping that energy um, uh, moving and going. I'm going to draw a card for you from my Divine Animal Oracle deck. Let's see what part is part of your um, totem for this month. Right, let's have a look at that. So what have you got? Let me put my glasses on. You've got the sea turtle. I always like the sea turtle because the sea turtle is about, um, and let's see what that is. It's stability. Yeah. Stability. That's, you know, that's you channeling that energy that you have, my lovely Aries, and, and pursuing it, going with the flow, moving it forward. I like the sea turtles. Sea turtles always follow the currents. They don't um, expend unnecessary energy to get to where they want to go, but the current takes them. So it's about you finding your current, finding that flow and going with it, moving forward, taking it to your destination. So it really is about that sense of determination in... Um, in having it come to you, having these things come to completion. Um, what do I want to say? <clears throat> it, I mean, I'm just getting this image of it's, it's like a flower that is in the bud stage and it's just going to open and blossom. But in order for you to get those beautiful roses, those beautiful flowers, you need to work the soil, you need to till the soil, you need to water the plant, you need to fertilise, you need to really nurture that. So what plans are you wanting to put in place starting in April? Let's create your Celtic cross. Let's see what 
is in store in more detail for you in April. Let's see what's there for you. Okay, so I like this. Okay. You have had some trials and tribulations, haven't you, my lovely Aries? Is it, is it this, you know, really analysing what you're wanting, what changes you're needing to bring in around you? Some of those changes that are coming, uh, that, that have been called, uh, brought about, and for some of you, you've, you've already uh, experienced that. That's, they're, they're external factors that are um, making you look to what changes you want to bring into your life. So it's almost like there's an external force at work here, but the the point of that is that it, it makes you really look at, well, am I happy where I am? Am I happy with what I'm doing? What else can I do? Where does my passion lie? So it sort of brings about this questioning of situations and circumstances around you. Okay, so... <clears throat> The deck I'm using today is the Druid Craft Tarot. I've just drawn to this, this tarot uh, today for you. So you've got the Prince of Cups. I like the Prince of Cups. There's a lot of detail in these cards. The Prince of Cups, this is a journey. This is a, um, a, an emotional journey, a journey of pursuing your passion in moving forward. This is also communicating with things that have got to do with the ethers, uh, messages coming to you, um, a new emotional way of being. But there's look how calm the water is um, there. It's, a, it's also about... Uh, pursuing your uh, spiritual growth, spiritual awakening as well, your sense of intuition, trusting your sense of intuition, trusting where you're moving to, trusting what's being brought to you uh, because there's new horizons here. So there's some sort of significant turning point here. It's doing things that you feel passionate about. There's some sort of awakening here. It could be your dreams are, are giving you information as well. Forces beyond what you know and can see are at work here, bringing opportunities to you, I want to say to you. You've also got the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands, of course, is about um, opportunities coming to you, choices and decisions to make. Here's this guy with these you know, opportunities that, that are moving you forward. It could be an uphill climb, which means you might need to re, uh, you might need to learn something new, study something new. It could be decisions and choices, knowing that change needs to happen and you really need to think about what direction you're wanting to take. But there's fertility, there's growth, there's that, the greenness of the hills, there's, it's not barren. So the changes that are coming up for you are actually taking you to something better. But intuitively, my lovely Aries, you know that. On an intuitive level, you know that. What are you exploring on a spiritual level as well? There is a completion of um, difficulties here. There is a completion of if you've been thinking about something, if, there's, if you know, oh, I want change, but it's been difficult for you to do that. It's, you know, there's been um, situations that have come up that you've thought, oh, these, these are lessons in my way, things that I need to learn. It's about, oh, well, what have, what have you learned? What have you learned from those, those constraints or difficulties or situations that you've had to overcome? There is new learning. It has made you you who you are so there's a lot of new learning that's coming up around you it's about leaving the past behind see the battles the battles of the past the battles of the past they're done they're done take off your helmet take off your armor don't carry the weight of the past into this new birth year for you this is something new this is a new way of being, a new way of thinking. Um, it, this is what's really formed you because there has been some adversity in the past. But that's how we grow. That's how we discover our strengths and our resilience. That's how you discover what path you want to be on, what drives you, what's your passion. There's a recognition of that. There's a lot of good things coming your way in, uh, starting in April. 
I like it. Starting in April. There's, it's, um, we're starting a new book here. A new, you know, some people say, oh, yes, you're starting a new chapter. I don't know. I feel like you're starting a new book. There's a, um, there's a, deep, a deep understanding of who you are and what you're wanting and what you're wanting to achieve and where you're headed that's coming about for you in your birth month. You've also got the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is about, okay, let's cut away the dead wood. Let's trim away the dead wood. Let's trim away the dead wood. Let's watch the new growth come. So, you know, it's like the tree of life. When the branches on a tree are dying, you cut them off. And when you cut them off, you get new growth, you get freshness, you get new ideas. And so it's about trimming away, which is the Ten of Swords, trimming away what's not needed in your life to allow that new growth. And when you've pruned something, when you've looked at your life and shed what is no longer relevant to you, then it's about being patient and watching what replaces that, what opportunities are coming to you, what new awareness do you have? How are you going to fill that space? You know, it's like, um, what are they showing me here? It's like when you go on a holiday or you're going on a trip and you've got your suitcase and you pack it full of things. And you take that with you. You go on holidays and you see a whole lot of new things you want to buy. It's not going to fit in your suitcase. You need to get rid of some stuff that you're not needing. You need to get rid of the old in order to replace it with the new because you can't just keep filling up a full suitcase. Make some space. And that's what you're doing with your life. That's trimming your tree of life. And then being patient because when it's time, when the time is right, things will come to you. But I feel like they will start coming to you in April. They'll start, there'll be new opportunities. But it, the opportunities are also brought about by your new way of looking at life, this freshness that comes, this new fire in your belly, this new enthusiasm, these new ideas, these seeds that you're planting. It's really now time to... Um, Watch this new growth, this newness, this, I just feel like freshness, freshness. Oh, then you've got the moon. I love this card, the moon. It's an emotional, let's delve beneath the surface. The, you've got the conscious self and the subconscious self, bringing it into alignment. The moon is also about self-reflection. It's about going within. It's about, it's going to be a time of reflection. It's going to be a time of really processing. It's going to be a time of, well, what are my fears? What's holding me back? Why have you made the choices that you've made in the past? Once you recognize what's gotten you into situations in the past, you can change the way you're thinking or what your expectations are to bring in a new way of being. And you don't do that unless you self-reflect. If you don't self-reflect, you're doomed to repeat the cycle. Let's break the cycle. This is the month that is going to allow you to do that. If you're full of ideas, but you never see something through, as great as those ideas are, it's time now to have that enthusiasm, have those ideas, have that energy and see it through. See it through to completion. Because if you do that, you've got the world here. The world is your oyster. So by the third week of April, I want to say to you that you're going to start seeing success. You're going to start seeing this new growth. You're going to start, to start seeing this potential that is there for you. For some of you, it's overseas travel. For some of you, it's doing business with um, a, a, wider, a, wider, a wider arena, I'm hearing. Over, it could be overseas um, and exchange over, over great big distances as well. New ideas blossom. This is the world is your oyster. This is the pearls that are there for you to discover about yourself, about your ability. But there's a huge, there's huge potential by the third week of April. I love it. I love it. You've also got the Princess of Pentacles here. And this is about your financial future, your abundance. There's an improvement in your um, finances, an improvement in the abundance around you. Um, this is planning for your future, goal setting, 
What do you want to achieve and how are you going to achieve it? What steps are you going to take to have the outcome that you're, want, you're wanting to work towards? There's nothing standing in your way, my lovely Aries, this month. It's filled with potential. It's filled with opportunities. It's filled with possibilities. You also have the Queen of Pentacles. So you're going to be finding yourself by um, the last week of April, you're going to be finding yourself in, uh, you're going to be thinking differently. You're going to have different um, expectations. Uh, new things are going to come your way. Things are going to fill that void that you that you know you're wanting to fill with this excitement, with this enthusiasm. There's just a whole lot of potential that's coming. The Queen of Pentacles, I love that. There's a change in your abundance. There's a change in your thinking. There's a change in what you're experiencing and how you're experiencing it. A lot of that has to do with the uh, perceptions that you have as well. Um, there's an uplifting of the spirit for you that's coming. I like that. Mm. This and so this is this is the card of um, temptation as well. This is the card of temptation. This is the card of not um, not taking shortcuts, not being tempted to go. Oh, look! I'll hand that over to somebody else. Like I've run out of energy. I don't feel like taking this. I don't feel like pursuing it. It's too hard. Um, it's about really um, being very focused and moving forward with your ideas. It's also about not allowing others to um, come in and manipulate you and say, oh, well, I don't think you should do it this way. You should do it that way. Don't listen to others. Follow your own intuition. Follow what you're thinking. Follow what you're wanting to do. Follow what you're wanting to achieve. That's going to be very important. So don't allow others to pull your strings and try and convince you to do something differently. This is really you laying down your plans, you laying down your path that will take you through the year. So it's really important that you build a strong path, a very clear path in April, um, because my lovely Aries, you are full of energy and full of ideas and full of progress and um, you're, you're just a leader in, in those, those potentials but it's also not handing it over to anybody else but rather you being in charge of that energy, you being in charge of the direction you want to move in. That's going to be really important for you. Let me draw a card from the Divine Abundance deck, my lovely Aries. Let's have a look at what that is. See, you've got trust and butterflies, which is about transformation and change. Allow me, divine, to give. I'll start again. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. That's that spiritual awareness. You know, in the beginning, we got this Knight of Cups. That's developing your intuition, developing your spirituality, trusting your, your instincts, trusting yourself in moving forward with your plans, with your ideas. Really important. I like this for you, my lovely Aries. There's a really um, exciting sort of energy here that is propelling you through uh, to achieve great things, great successes, whether it is uh, you know, studying a new course and completing that, starting a new business, a promotion, um, traveling, just deciding, oh, you know, this is the year where I want to open up opportunities and I want to travel. Um, I want to bring in a new way of being, a new way of existing, a new way of living. Work on those plans that you've got and, and see them through. Really important for you to be able to reach your potential. I wish you a very happy birthday, my lovely Aries. I wish you love, light and many blessings. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website and you can book that reading from there.